feel the need to uh, just make the world a better place. That sounds cliche, but that's really... No, I get it. No, it's, it's, it's what we do. It's what we do. Save the world. Save the day. So this is... This is how I see the ethos of each of our four, of our, each of our three types. Um, mm -hmm. And then just criticize my opinion. <laughs> give me, okay, give don't me worry. <clears throat> so, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready for yeah. this? Let's criticize. Because I was just thinking about this the other day. I think for um, the INTJ, it's about maximizing potential, whether of the self. Mm -hmm. and or other people as well especially loved ones and cl people close to INTJs like yep, drawing I totally out, agree with that. yeah just cultivate cultivating potential and just um, maximizing it um, so cultivating potentials yeah. and, and and I get I get I definitely get in trouble with that because people around me I'm trying to I see their potential yeah and I try to bring them up to their potential but they look at me as interfering <laughs> and that is never taken well yeah. and so yeah why maybe is it because like so when you're um, helping the loved ones to cultivate their potential do you come off as like controlling or do you do it in a way where you just do things for them behind like without them even knowing so how, how, do, how do you do that oftentimes i try to find opportunities for them so making themselves a better person this could be work this could be education this could be a wide variety of things i often want to try to expand people's minds you know reach right. their okay, okay. and there's a lot of people who don't like that and right. And I, when I'm having conversations with these people, I probably am a little bit, I'm just very to the point. And, you know. You should do this, this, I'm, this. again, discounting the whole emotional thing. I'm like, this is your list. This is what you should do. This is your goals. Have a five-year plan. They don't care about a five-year five -year plan. <laughs> so today is all they care about. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. And so for... Um, ENTPs. I would love that, by the way. I need some planning in my life. <laughs> I love that yeah. too, by the way. Um, so for the ENTPs, I thought the ethos would be like changing the philosophy of the world and like how people approach and um, think about things. Like, what is the lifestyle of the overall culture of the globe. <laughs> Does that make like the you want to change the zeitgeist, the the direction of the times, if that makes sense. Right. I think. Well, for me, I noticed that I never think. It, it sounds like I'm bragging but I never think like others. And that's... When I was younger, mm -hmm. as I'm getting older and older, I'm realizing that it's actually a strength. But I have to really learn to use this skill in a way that's helpful for others because I want to help others to realize that there's different ways of thinking, that there's different ways of living, um, not be so um, contained in like regular ways of conventional lifestyle. You know, I want to help others to realize that there's other things to do outside of the box. So that's why I think that is what makes me want to actually um, keep on self improving because I know that what I am thinking of is actually possible. You know, I know that things that I'm thinking of can be shared and can be uh, followed by others if I uh, show them that it's possible by doing it myself, by demonstrating it to others that, hey, I'm thinking outside of the box, but it's working, you know, like it's actually working. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that, that's why they call us the visionary and the 
the inspirational leaders because I guess I, I, I try to demonstrate that it's possible. So you're kind of like outside the box. So you're kind of like um I'll say <laughs> I don't know if you'll agree with this or not, but like an apostle yeah. or missionary <laughs> kind of kind of like Gandhi maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But you're like, so the world is, um, not divided. There's a way out of this shithole is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There's a way out of this shithole and we can save the world. It's not that hard. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So there are like different, I'll say the world is divided into like pockets, I, I guess, or clusters of different cultures and peoples and whatever and you, you like to connect the different areas of the world together yeah because there's universal truth and everyone believes in the right way but they want no like the right okay how do I word this everyone knows what the right thing to do is but they are so stubborn with their own ways of doing it if you actually de like deconstruct it, they're all the same thing. But everyone has like so much ego, and they're so um, so blinded by their own culture. They're so blinded by their own beliefs that what they're preaching are actually the same thing. You know? Like, That's a very uh, interesting epi. <laughs> Yeah, reason because everyone's saying the same thing, but they're like, "No, mine's better, mine's better." I'm like, "It's the same goddamn thing." Like y'all are just so ignorant. Interesting. And then, yeah. um, for me as an ENTJ, I I think my ethos is <laughs> just being able to change the world, and um. Just like trying to achieve something big in my lifetime. Um, mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter to me if people remember me, but as long as I did something to impact the world <laughs> on a grand scale. Mm, okay. That's, that's. You want to have an. That can. Can you say that again? You're... You want to impact that can um, positively change goals. Not just for one person. You want to create change that can affect everyone. What you're trying to say? So I only heard half of what you said, but I think you said. <laughs> but I think, I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. Yeah, I think. I could connect what you're saying. <laughs> um, okay. Am I am I really echoey? Is it really hard to hear? It, it's just like it's going in and out. Yeah, it was oh, just sure. it was just lagging, but uh, like for the whole the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. While you, while just you were parts. talking, half of it was just like in, half was out, like Samay was saying. Okay. Yeah, but I I think I got what you said. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I want to, um, I guess, I guess another way of saying it would be I want to usher in a new world that's better than the current one <laughs> and be the catalyst and cause of that. Hold on, I need to plug in my computer. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> This is good. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Nobody on the street wants to talk about this stuff. I know, right? This is the thing. This is the thing. I believe 20... Can you guys hear me? Um, I can hear you now. Right now. <laughs> okay. You know how there's only 25% of Twitters? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. out of the whole world population, there's, I think, I'm not exactly sure 
what percentage the intuitive thinkers are, but around eleven. It's like less than yeah, yeah. It's like eleven percent. With the NFs, yeah, it's hard to discuss oh, yeah, yeah. about these things without yeah. coming off across as insensitive. We talked about yeah. death in the first five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> But with the NPs, I feel like it's just so refreshing to talk about how we all just want to change the world. You know, because we all just want to change the world for the better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not, 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 not. I think people are thinking of me as like I'm crazy because I'm like talking about changing the world in the coffee shop. <laughs> are people looking at you? <laughs> This is why I think people think that I'm crazy because I like talk about these things. And people are like, what the hell are you mm-hmm. talking about? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, oh, well, people often think we have a selfish reason for it. Their perspective is, you know, and it's like, actually, no, we want to make it better. We have good ideas. You know, we, we're trying to help you. And it's yeah. all like, oh, they're just selfish. They just want to be in charge. They just want to do that. And, and yeah, I've heard the whole gamut. No. In fact, I think we're actually the most humane and like um compassionate people we're the most compassionate out of all yeah. no fair compassion yeah and we want justice mm-hmm. and i want order and I want- justice is a, is a form of compassion yeah. there you go, there you go. <laughs>